So we are asked for the prime factorization of 2250. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic states the following. If n is an integer greater than or equal to 2, then n is either a prime number or a product of prime numbers. And this decomposition is unique up to the order of factors. So 15 can be written as 3 times 5 or 5 times 3, but that's it. So if you ign ignore the order, then the prime factorization is unique. And this is kind of convenient because if we find one prime factorization, we found it. And that kind of takes the pressure of the method we use. So I'm going to show you the most systematic method. There are other methods, but once the numbers become larger, I think this is the way to go. So if we write down the number and we draw a line. And we're going to start looking for prime factors. And let's go in order. So the smallest prime number is 2. So we ask, is this number divisible by 2? The answer is yes. And then we write down this 2 and we divide this number by 2. That's 1125. Now the idea is that we're going to find a prime factorization of 1125 and we will throw in an extra 2. So we reduce the problem to a, a smaller one. Let's ask again, is this number divisible by 2? The answer is no, right? The last digit is not even. Then we roll up to the next prime number, which is 3. Is this number divisible by 3? If we add the digits, we get 9, which means that this number is divisible not, not only by 3, but actually by 9. So we found the prime factor 3. We write it down here, and we're going to divide. 11, uh, 1125 divided by 3 is 375. So we're going to ask the same question again. Is this number 375 divisible by 3? We add the digits. We find that it is still divisible by 3. So we write down that factor and we divide. And we ask again, is this number 125 divisible by 3? We add the digits. The sum of the digits is 8. That's not divisible by 3. So we exhausted the prime number 3. So now let's roll up to the next prime number, 5. Is 125 divisible by 5? The answer is yes. So we write it down and we divide by it. 125 divided by 5 is 25. And we kind of know where we're going. Uh, 25 is 5 squared. But just to be systematic, uh, this is still divisible by 5. So we write it down and then we divide. And then one more 5. And then once we reach 1, that means that this here is the prime factorization. Usually we use an exponential form. So we use a form such as 2,250 equals to 2, 3, 5. So we organize the prime factors in order. And then there is just one 2, but there are two threes and three fives. So that here, that here is the prime factorization. We can check using the calculator. So 2 times 3 squared is 9. And we're just going to say 5 to the third power. And there it is. At the end, we need to ask two questions. The first question was, does this multiply to the right stuff? And the second question is, well, are these all prime numbers? And indeed, this is 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 5. So this is the only prime factorization for, for our number. Thank you for watching.